So what we need to do then is we need to plug the bottom. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Of course, Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys, Hi. how are you? Hi. Am I a bit worried about this? Oi, why? This? Yeah. This? Yeah. This? What are we talking about? Um, we're talking about bottoms. Bottoms? Okay. I'm um, basically what we do in leakages. All right, so let's backtrack. What leakages happen? Just for people who don't know or understand, what can happen? Okay, so what can happen is even though um, we're deceased, we can still, um, you know, um, urinate and defecate really yeah not like spontaneous it just comes it out it just comes out um and also purging so it's a kind of purge your your, your, your urine and your feces so you're purging so purging is when bodily fluids come out all the orifices yes yeah, yeah, basically right. or it could just come out of your um you know your bottom and your vagina your penis you know you could still fluid can still uh, okay. leak from these areas right and the problem with that is well the problem with that is it's going to leak and leak and leak everywhere on the clothes when you dress them and, you, and it's going to smell it's going to decompose and it's going to be very unpleasant for the viewings and services and, and services and yep. also unpleasant okay. for the person that we're looking after yeah we don't want anybody Nobody lying in poo no yeah. no we poo is not poo. poo okay so what do you do about it well, after the initial prep that we do, you know, so say there's a, a huge amount of uh, purge going on from mouth um, and all your other orifices, uh, your bum and all of that kind of thing, I would aspirate, you know, and try and draw out as much fluid as I can through aspirating. Um, I would take out all the gases and airs and get rid of as much fluid as we can, but it will just not clear everything out. So we always always after finishing all the prep washed and just before i was to dress we place nappies right okay we have a large nappy a medium nappy and, and then unfortunately a little baby nappy a little baby nappy okay so say we we have aspirated and no drama it's all clean i've aspirated there's nothing else coming out because you can tell if it's going to keep coming out because it will just keep coming out and not stop so because there's no muscle control yeah, yeah, no yeah, muscle contraction nothing, to stop yeah yeah hmm. so after i've done my wash and there's no more leakage i'll just place a nappy that's it and that's it because you so don't no know. i've heard some stories we've had people ask the question before no suturing, no, mm, no suturing butt the plugs, bum, no butt plugs and no cotton because I don't need it because there's nothing coming out, it's clean. There's no leakage and I've already um, prepped the face, I've done everything else so it's given me time to check before I do the final drying of the body in place and that be so had time for any kind of fluid to come out if there's nothing come out by then it's not going to come out especially because you've been moving the body around yes. haven't you yeah. so that would yeah. make it happen if yeah. it was going to so i'm happy right. just to place a nappy right okay okay and i'll place a nappy on every single person we do mm -hmm. you know from a large person medium and two babies you know so that would be it that's all i need to do dress them and i'm happy with that now if we do have constant purge and leakage coming out from uh, the bottom area and it just won't stop doesn't matter how much I aspirate it it just won't stop and that happens not too often not all the time it's quite rare actually it happens so what we need to do then is we need to plug the bottom and uh, in a lady's vagina area we need to plug these areas to stop leakage. Okay, so we're talking about poo, or are we talking about blood, or are we what? Yeah, a bit of both. It can be poo, right. blood, yeah, and urine. That there could be a mixture of fluids coming out mm -hmm. because it's coming out. You know, hmm. it's just leaking from the body. There's a lot of fluid in our body that starts, you know, we deteriorate, and it just won't stop. This is where you've heard people saying they suture the anus. I have never in my whole 10 years nearly been in this industry 
have seen that done or actually done that. So if 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 you were going to do it, you yeah, would use people do it, a yeah. purse suture. Yeah, a purse suture is what you would use. Yeah. Right. So yeah. 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 And okay. I mean, for reconstructions and different things, I've sutured in these areas where things are torn. Yeah. And all of that, that's different altogether. But I've never had the reason to suture in in to plug it up. Yeah. So apparently, you know. It's done, and I'm sure I'll get a few morticians and bombers telling me that's the best way to do it. And if that's the way you do it, then that's fine. That's not a drama. Um, it's just I don't, I'm just not comfortable doing that myself. And also, uh, we have a thing which is called um, it's it's a bit like the baby trocar button, but it's larger and it's a plug. It's like a big screw. It's about this big, and that screws into the backside area. To stop leakage it's plastic now I don't like it because I think it's invasive and but people use it but what I prefer to use to plug the areas is cotton and cream so that is what I would use and I've used that many times to stop in it in it's it works it does the job it's You've never had a problem the leakage yeah show us how you do it okay so you get a piece of cotton it's you know quite a large piece of cotton here and with my forceps which are quite large and I've got my cream moisturizer cream this is a moisturizer cream that we put on everybody's face when they're in the fridge to stop the fridge burn it's just um, it's like a sorbolene or something yeah, or is it a special mortuary cream it's probably a mortuary so you I wouldn't want it on no. real skin so I get a bit of cream and I wrap it around the end that's a lubrication thing? That is, and also it seals it as well. Right. So I've got all that cream wrapped around. It does get everywhere. Ew. There we go. So I've got that cream on the end there wrapped around and that's where that's where I would place my cotton into the um, the opening of the bottom. Right. So, okay, so, so okay, let's be graphic about it. How do you actually do it? Where are the people's legs? Do you have to put their knees up? Do you how do you do it? Okay, so I would just raise one leg to the side, just to the side, not up in the air, much to the side, and guide the, um, my forceps into the bottom. Push right, and it in. usually goes in okay with that goes with in the cream. Because it's got cream, yeah, okay. so it's lubricating. So the cream it slides in. Um, and if that's not enough cotton, I'll get a little bit extra and put it in. Um, if it starts leaking terrible again, I'll take all that out and redo it again yep. until I stop it, until yep. I, I put enough in and it's stopped. So do you leave any of it hanging out or it all goes in? Is it, there a way you do it particularly? I, I usually um, get it all in. Uh -huh. I usually put it all in and don't have any out. And once I'm happy and it's sealed and there's definitely nothing coming out, then I'd still place it yeah. happy. So. I would still use the nappy regardless of putting the cotton in. Yeah. You know, because it's extra protection if it yep. was to leak a little bit. So yep. that's what we do. So, okay, so once you've got a nappy on, then you just dress as normal. Yep. And normal. Yep. no issue. Yep, no issue. I've never had any issue, and um, that's what it is. But like I say, there's lots of different ways different people, different morticians and bombers do that. I prefer the cotton, I just think it's softer. <laughs> yeah, it's more humane, isn't it? I do think it's squishy and soft. I didn't realise those plugs were that big. How big are they? Oh, they're about that big. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, and the, and the plastic. I wouldn't like plastic. to think that my loved one had had that done. Uh, yeah, no, me neither. So. I'd much rather this. Yeah. If, you know, if this is what we talk about, you know, if people knew the options, and obviously you're not going to go into such detail yeah. when you're talking about your own loved yeah. one and planning a funeral, but if people knew some of the different yeah. options that you had, then, yeah. you know, there are obvious choices that people would potentially make. Yeah. But you've got to remember, this is not if this this is rare. It doesn't happen all the time. I do not plug bottoms no, regularly. you don't need to. You don't need to. I, 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 if there's no leakage, there's no need to do it. So in most of the time, there's, there's not much leakage. Can I ask a, a question along the same vein? It's a bit off, sorry, but yeah. I'm interested to know. Do people continue to menstruate um, after death? Does blood come out? I possibly does, but you can't you tell don't. because blood comes out sometimes anyway you right. know, with the feces. So it's a mixture of blood and um, 
you know, feces and urine. So it's a mixture of everything. So there's blood in there. Sometimes. So if you were going to plug lady parts, you'd do it similarly? Yeah, very similar, just a little less cotton, mm -hmm. you know, and just similar. So yeah. the bottom and the uh, vagina area, the same. Good to know. But just, you know, with a less amount of cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. well, thank you for that, Trace. Not a problem. Appreciate you delving into such a delicate matter. I know yeah. your Britishness doesn't really, <laughs> she doesn't sit comfortably talking about these things. But that's no. our choice. No, no, I don't like talking about it's them. Okay. But the bottom areas and not the areas, you know, and bits. <laughs> All right. Be Stay well. safe, guys. Take care. Till next time. See you guys. Bye.